Hey guys, Brandon here, I see fun guy. Let's talk Hagar plates. So this big old box came with 500. And it's best to just go ahead and order in bulk like this. If you order these sleeves of 20, 25, yeah, they might charge you like 10 bucks, but guess what? You're gonna pay like $10 in shipping too. It's just not worth it. Um, it's better to just go ahead and buy in bulk. I paid about $90, and that's including shipping for 500 plates. You want to make sure that you order it from a scientific website. Or um, if you have to order minimum qualities right now, make sure you get it from a um, mycological website. If you buy this stuff off Amazon, what's going to happen is these the plastic here is going to um, be compromised. It's going to have holes in it, and then that's going to make your dishes possibly not sterile and you're also going to have cracked plates from poor packaging and cheap plastic um, so it's it's just not ideal it's going to take some practice learning how to pour your plates and um, you'll get plenty of practice with 500 so i just wanted to show you guys um, why agar is the way to go as far as if you're going to go all in with uh, the mycology and be able to do everything from the cloning to the isolation to cleaning up plates or cleaning up spore prints, this is the way to go. Especially if you don't want a bunch of lab stuff coming to your house all the time. Just do a one and done and get this over with. You're not having to deal with people sending you syringes and stuff in the mail. All you need is a spore print. I mean, it lasts way longer than liquid cultures are. Uh, spore syringes so anyways i'm down to my last hundred i'll have to make an order soon just make sure that you order these from some type of scientific website um these i got off of ebay uh, anyways get outside get in nature i always see fun guy do you